No chant while we death march. <laughs> All right, guys, what Laura's doing here, we call it death march. I know it's not the best name, a uh, little bit of an intimidating name. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. So she's doing it weighted, touch both dumbbells to the side of the foot or just in front of the foot. You could take a normally a normal size step. The point though is that the front leg um, is just unlocked, you're not bending all the way, and we're using a lot of hamstring, a lot of range of motion on that hamstring, and a lot of glute work. So the way I think about it, the hamstring is gonna work no matter what. Just push through that heel as you stand up to get that glute to fire, okay? So it's really a single leg deadlift is what we're doing. And you would just take a step, boom, take a step, boom. So you can obviously adjust the weights, not have any weights. You can touch both hands in front, and then other variations, you can go ahead and put those down, or you could try with the dumbbells. Please don't drop the weights. <laughs> um, well, you can do these rear foot elevated, so you can add a, a big balance aspect to it. Personally, I'm not super crazy about these. I'd rather go for distance um, and get some work in and not deal a ton with the balance, but yes, balance is important. You keep the hips square, whether if you're doing a rear foot or not, laser beams on the hips, chirm, chirm touch all right driving through the front heel if not you're going to be activating different muscles fall off balance etc so if you're trying to get some of that good posterior chain work get this in check us out facebook instagram youtubes see ya